Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm here with my July wrap up. As you can tell I've been swimming, I've got wet hair and no makeup because I'm not going to put makeup on after I've been swimming because, well, that would be stupid, especially as I'm not going out. So I read a total of 17 books in July, which is pretty damn good. And most of this was down to Booktubeathon because I completed six books during that uh, week. So we're going to go through them very quickly. I read some ebooks, so I'm gonna, these are in the order I actually pretty much read them in. So. The first book I read um, was Children of the Moon by Laken Zia Kemp, which is the third instalment in the Girl in Between series um, about Bryn who suffers from this sleeping disorder where she, she dreams and she's not supposed to, but now we find out that she's what they call a dreamer, she's a magical person. And this just continues the story of the dreamers and their companions, their soulmates who are supposed to help them. Again, a brilliant book. I really enjoyed this one. Apparently part four in the series is coming out sometime this year. I can't wait for that. I'm dying to see what happens next. So I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but let's just say it's a whole different thing for Bryn. Now I gave that four out of five stars on Goodreads. The second book I read was uh, Deep Sleepers by Adrian Wells. Again, this was an ebook, so I'll put the picture up here. And um, this one it was about, uh, it was like an espionage story about getting somebody undercover and what they do is they hypnotise this person into thinking they're somebody else completely and send them undercover into sort of like a terrorist camp so they can try and find out what's going on. Um, but all the time this person's sister is looking for him and absolutely brilliant the way it was written. I really enjoyed this book and again I gave it a four out of five stars. I read these while I was on holiday that's why there's so many of them. The third ebook I read was called State Line and it was by Dave Stanton. This book again was a thriller gripping murder mystery. It just when you just thought he was getting close, something else would happen. It would take him somewhere else, from uh, New Jersey to Las Vegas, and, until he found the killer and why this person was killed the night before his wedding. Obviously, because, you know, you're going to get uh, killed before the night before your wedding. And again, I gave that four out of five stars. I've got my little notebook here where I write down what I've given things rather than looking at my phone. So the next book I read was a physical book, and that was... Oh, Miss Peregrine School for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Now, I loved this book so much that the following week I went out and bought the two sequels, as you know, because you saw it in my July book haul. I haven't read them yet, but I have read this, and I really loved it. You must know what this is about. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of lending it to my mother, and this happened, because she doesn't know what a bookmark's for, so she tends to put them like, like ah! Even my dad was upset. <laughs> so, but yes, so I'm looking forward to reading the second one. Might get to that this month, I'm hoping to. Uh, the next book I fi finished this month was the Terry Pratchett book, The Slip of the Keyboard, The Collected Non-Fiction. I love Terry Pratchett. I'm always going to love Terry Pratchett. Um, I gave this book four out of five and it would have been five out of five, but it was just too heartbreaking. I love what it says on the back. Um, Get up, have breakfast, switch on word processor, stare at screen. Carry on staring at screen, but cock ear for sounds of postman. With any luck, will be a large bag of posts leading to a busy morning's work. Last novel, just gone off to publisher, got nothing to do. Huge vacuum in centre of world. Post arrives, one letter on Holly Hobby note paper asking for a signed photograph. Sitting in front of a keyboard and a screen is work. Thousands of offices operate on this very principle. Stare at screen. So yes, it's just typical Hep Terry Pratchett humour, but it's all... Well, it's non-fiction, so it's, it's stuff he's written about his career, um, things he wrote when he was working for the energy companies. He worked for a nuclear power station in their press section. Um, stuff about the orangutans, Alzheimer's, assisted dying, the NHS, it's all in here. All with the same Terry Pratchett humour. On another note with Terry Pratchett, because I've got to get the plug in, <laughs> otherwise Jez will go mad. In November, I will be appearing in Weird Sisters at the Dolman Theatre. I will play in Nanny Og. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the Dolman Theatre in Newport. I will leave a link to the Dolman in the doobry below. So you can check out what's coming up with some good stuff this season. If you're in the South Wales area and you fancy a night out, come and see us. Why not? 
So, after uh, a slip of the keyboard, I read a library book, which has now gone back, and that was Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I gave Kate Atkinson's book only two out of five. It's about a girl who just lives over and over again. Every time she does something wrong and dies, she starts her life again. And while the book had so much promise, I felt it didn't live up to it. She could have done so much with it. And the only time it really got interesting was during World War II, when, you know, she was helping out with the, in the Blitz, or she was in Germany trying to kill Hitler. That's when it got really good. But at the end, I just felt that, well, you know, it was a damp squib, it never went anywhere. So I was really disappointed. But that doesn't mean to say I won't read something else of okay, Kate Atkinson's in the future, because I probably will. So, After Life After Life, I read The, the Segment Bed by Libby Hawker. That, again, is an ebook. Um, and this one is set in Egyptian, uh, ancient Egypt. Um, it's set in the 18th dynasty and it follows the story of the child Hepshetzet um, and her mother Amos. Now Amos um, was married to the king. Now the king wasn't, the, wasn't actually royalty, he was the general. And she always had dreams that she would never have um, a son, but she would have a child and that child would be king. She has a daughter called Hepshetzet. Fact, Hepshetzet became a pharaoh. She was one of the most powerful pharaohs ever who lived. And so there's a series of books that tell the story. It was fabulous. I'm actually going to get them in paperback because I want to read the whole series. And I gave that five out of five because I just love anything that's historical like that. I thought it was fabulous. Um, then I read Jeffrey Self Drag Team, and it seems like years ago that I posted my review of this. So I'm, all, I'm not going to tell you anything about this. I've already reviewed it. I'll post a link in the doobie below to that uh, book review so you can see that. After that, I went on to another great book, was, which was The Before Now and The After Then by Peter Mon. Again, I've reviewed this. I, again, will leave a link below to that review, and I will also leave a link to Peter Mon's channel as well so you can check it out if you're not already following him. Why aren't you? He's fabulous. Go follow him, please. So, yes, great book. Please read it. And, and these two books, I'm lending to my friend Julie. That's why I'm doing this tonight and not tomorrow, because so, she's off on Thursday. So I'm taking them into her tomorrow. Um, then we're on to the book Tubathon books, um, which I've already talked about. So I'll just quickly go through those. And that's Confessions of a Showbiz Reporter by Holly Forrest, Bodies of Water by V. H. Leslie. Billionaire by Peter James. Again, there's a review of this on my blog, so I'll post the link below. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. I love that story. And of course, Hex by Thomas Old Huvelt. Again, I have posted a, a video of this, a review of this book, so again, I'll link the doobry below. Next, after that one. Ah, yes. A Symphony of Echoes by Jodie Taylor, the second in the St Mary's Chronicles. or well, the Chronicles of St Mary's. And, and in this one, they are chasing, being chased, not even chasing, Jack the Ripper. They have to go and um, flatter Mary Queen of Scots. Witness the murder of Archbishop Thomas a Becket in Canterbury Cathedral. And again, very funny, quick read, very enjoyable. I can't recommend these enough. Again, I gave these, this one five out of five. Absolutely five out of five, no question. I love these books, can't wait to read the next one. Okay, and next was another ebook, which was White Jade by, what was his name? Alex Lukeman, again, I'll put a picture up here. And this is, again, it's a historical, I call them, it's not historical, it's archeological thrillers, I like to call them. Um, sort of like, kind of like the Da Vinci Code, but not. I wanna say it's sort of like, Indiana Jones Tomb Raider in a book form. David Gibbons does it better than anyone else. I love Dave Gibbons' books. Um, but this one was very good. This one um, centers around a ancient Chinese book that allegedly contains um, where to find the elixir of eternal life. Um, so the two protagonists go off to search for it because they don't want the Chinese getting it because um, some renegade Chinese are planning to take over the country with a coup and start a nuclear war if they have to. Really good, loved it, absolutely brilliant, but very enjoyable. Again, four out of five stars. I finally finished, oh, I can't get it, Helen Oyami's What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours. Now, I gave this three stars because, not because I didn't enjoy it, because I really did enjoy it, but it is short stories. 
the only short stories I've ever read since I've grown up have been about Marilyn Monroe and I have to say that I loved the first story which was Books and Roses. I loved Drownings but the one about the puppets which I don't even know what the name of it is. Here we are, there's, well, there it is, there's one part there. Is your blood as red as this is it? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't really like that, but the stories were really good and I would definitely read more of Helen Oyami's work and I want to read more short stories. The, that one just didn't do it for me and it slowed me down reading it, but that doesn't mean to say I won't read it again in the future, because I probably will and I might love it then. It, it's just that this time, nah, it wasn't for me. Okay, I still haven't finished reading uh, Shepherd and Babylon, so I'm not picking anything out of the TB jar, P TBR jar at the moment. In fact, I'm not even going to do a TBR for August and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, and I'm still trying to get through On the Road by Jack Kurak, which I am actually, I'm over halfway through it now, so I'm, and I, I'm enjoying it. Um, one of the reasons I'm not doing a TBR for August is it's just, I've just started A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin, and as you know, that book is 900 pages long, so it's massive. So I expect that to take a while for me to get through. Um, I do plan to do a few more videos. Uh, obviously, I'm going to do my Let's Talk About Terry Pratchett video soon. Um, what else am I going to do? Um, Oh, I've got my Aluma crate and my Book and a Brew unboxings when they come and possibly a little special kind of haul if I get around to get into the shop and get in this sort of book set I want um, which would be nice to, to put up here so but that's what I read in July like I said I'm, I'm gonna finish uh, hopefully the other two Clash Kings and the next one in Miss Peregrine and the Chronicles of St Mary's if I can do that I will be happy so that's all for me for now Happy reading and I'll see you soon. Bye.